Kanaya. I worship you today, Jesus. So make a I bow before your throne. Emanuela Bogbeni Adikbodu, aka Iyadubu, was a radio personality, popular for being a co host on Max FM's Waiting Day program. She was loved for her wisdom and a humorous delivery of it in an exaggerated elderly Yoruba woman's voice. Have you said yes? Because two o'clock have not. Let's meet it in the Max FM 102.3 ounces on top waiting day. Let's go, dear. Not only do fans have such fond memories of her, her colleagues also testify that she was a delight to work with. Max, let's meet it in the Max FM 102.3 ounces on top waiting day. Let's go, dear. Not only do fans have such fond memories of her, her colleagues also testify that she was a delight to work with. Many remember her for her kindness, friendliness, generosity. Her role on Witting Day can never be replaced. I'm not sure that, I mean, there will be somebody that will do that role, but it can never be. There can only be one Iyajubo. She's humble to a fault. She's hardworking. She's simple. She's committed to every cause she believes in. She will never segregate. She always look at the merit of the issue. And no matter how terrible your situation is, Iyajubo will always make you know that there is a hope. Her voice will continue to, to, you know, to ring in our ears. It's prominent in everything that about her. It's, it's enigmatic and I'm not sure it can be fully replaced in our hearts. Um, our English, her, well, it's really hard. I'm celebrating her. You see, I'm not wearing black. No, I'm not mourning her. I'm celebrating a woman who opened her eyes to the realities that look, when you have life, go all the way. And she did everything possible within her grasp to extend that extra mile. I just want to use this opportunity to pray for the family. I hope that they have the fortitude to bear the loss. Because it, even we here at Max FM, we're still struggling to come to terms that she's indeed gone. And I can imagine that her fans out there are also grieving and you know mourning the loss. But I know that we're united in her memory, in you know the happy memories that she left behind. And that's what I'm going to hold on to, the happy memories. And I know that her legacy will not be forgotten. If I tell I'm not devastated, but we have to stand. We we have to do what is needful. She would love all the, her audience, all her fans to be really happy, really, really happy, really happy. Because that was what she lived for. I'll miss her. I'll miss her greatly. She's, she's irreplaceable. But we'll do our best. We'll win for you. We will leave and do our best just to tell God we're grateful that he made you and the devil didn't win at all. Iyadjogo passed away on Friday, July 24th, 2020, after a brief ailment from bronchitis and an enlarged heart. You keep money mm. in the ants. Okay, you put money for us. Yes. You come and tell me, and then I say, okay, oh, now this thing will go take to work and everything. Mm. So much time, when I just come, you just carry your money, knock out from your face, say, get out for you. She reportedly ventured into broadcasting in 1995 while on an internship at Radio Lagos. She was a co-host on the Max FM's popular waiting day program for almost 10 years until she passed away. Don't turn any human beings in the street. It's beautification. Which kind of people? They redesigned the street. It's not good though. Give me a money staff from environmental. In the Lagos. He has to go to the law minister for the law commission now. Uh -huh. uh, okay. No minister. The commission for the Ross War Environmental Halefriti. We will continue to celebrate her legacy as we also put her family in our thoughts and prayers. Sleep well, Iyajobo. Our mother, friend, colleague, and sister. A rare gem. Right. Uh, I wonder if there's going to be adequate adjectives to qualify the person of Iyajubu. None. None. There can't be another one. None. Right. Joining us now in the studio is the co-host of Waiting Day, or the Waiting Day show, Wale 
animation, aka Wale Popo. Po, po, po. Wale, good morning. Good morning. I will just say morning because the morning is not so good. Yeah, it's not so yeah. good. Yeah. Just not for you, not for us, not for anyone. Not for anyone here. here. Yeah. But the, but the point there is, we have seen a lot, a plethora of messages on social media for Yajubu since the last uh, few days. Mm -hmm. You worked with this lady for so many years as a colleague, as a friend. Mm -hmm. Talk to us basically. W what is that thing? What is that spark about Yajubu that makes her so unique? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know. I'm still speechless, so to speak. Um, good morning once again. Mm -hmm. and. Um, for me, I think it's just a person. It's just a person. She's just full of energy. Mm. She, she's full of life. And she's, she's the kind of person that doesn't call black, white, or white, black. Mm. She go talk about it, take me whether you like her or you like her. If you like me, you draw with Teresa River. And the funny thing is, no matter what kind of day we're having, even before everybody has issues, the time you have issues that's bothering you and you're looking at how to deliver, then you enter the studio and she's there and just the smile alone, it makes you feel like, yes, it can get better. Let's go. Let's make it happen. Mm. The energy in Yajubu is unbelievable and it's contagious. Mm. Once she opens her mouth, well, by the time she utters a sentence or two, my brother, my sister, you must smile. Selfless. Always thinking of others before, before herself. Always seeking and always seeking mm. because she seeks advice as well, mm. which is one of the reasons why I respect her a lot. She doesn't just push you aside. No matter how silly or whatever my son, she'll, she'll still listen and I, I'll go on forever if I, right. if I, uh, I can go on okay. forever. But, but um, from, because you work closely with her, what is your fondest, if we might ah. ask, fondest mm. memories of her and moving on with the show, how challenging will it be? Is there, do you think that there's someone who could perhaps take their role again, or that role is gone? Let me, let me start with the second question first. Mm. That role has been decommissioned. Mm. There is, the role it, of Yajubu. It, it's, yeah, Yajubu is, I can never say was, mm. is irreplaceable. We have, like I will use the term, decommissioned that, that person. Mm. Because bringing any other person right now will make us look like, one, we're not creative. Mm. Two, is this the best you can do? And three, the person will be torn to pieces on it. It can never be mm. so. That role has been decommissioned. And moving on with the program, waiting day is a reflection of life. People have lost people. Life goes on. So definitely, I can assure all our listeners, once Yajubo has been put to rest, it's business as usual, not forgetting her. We're going to still work on making it waiting day better more informative, educative, and definitely entertaining, like I would say. But talking about the fondest memory, it's like looking for a date in a year. Just which date is your happiest day in a year? Mm. 365 days. Yajubu, Yajubu, me and Yajubu, we've been working together. We sit together. The seat is empty, for God's sake, now. The microphone is off. She has a microphone. She has a seat. She's always next to me. The seat is empty, the, the, the space is void. There's so many, so many, so many memories. It's, it's unbelievable. It's a lifetime. It's, it, I'm sure you, as she's listening to us in heaven, she'll have been telling the agent, see that boy we did there, that boy. Because <laughs> she's full of life. Even if, if it's a bad day, she will make you feel like sunshine. All right. Well, we're here where we are already, and as it is, it's quite devastating and shocking mm -hmm. and uh, unbelievable to everyone around here. But uh, is it clear where all the barrel, barrel arrangements and all of that has the family released all of those? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Funny enough, because of the kind of person she is, not was, kind of person she is, a lot of people, we've gotten calls, we've gotten calls, so a lot of people, a lot of artists, I've been on the show, Olamide Bado, Tiwa Savage, everybody was sending their message, what's going to happen? Well, what's the, basically, because of the corona pandemic, there won't be any gatherings. Okay. Because a lot of people are even not happy with that. But because of COVID, we don't want us first to come and say, hey, see them, see them, exactly. see them. We preach, we practice what we preach. Mm. So everything is going to be online. And uh, if people tune in to Max FM, we're going to give them the basics. 
because the family of the opinion that the earlier the better. Mm -hmm. She's not an old woman, for God's sake. Uh, of She's a young not. lady. Of course not. Mm -hmm. So the earlier the better. And so the burial arrangements are that tomorrow, mm -hmm. tomorrow there's going to be a service of songs online. We'll get messages across to everybody. Mm -hmm. And on, on Thursday, sadly enough, on Thursday, sadly enough, she will be late to final rest. And I'm still living in denial, self. I don't even know. It's like we can this imagine. One. We can. Uh, we can well, so that's the plan for now. So anybody that wants to join us will definitely be online. Okay. Definitely right. be online. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Wally. <sighs> and uh, accept all our condolences. We are all in this together. It's, it's just that. Uh, you you worked you worked closer with her on waiting day show and you produced her and all of that but uh, we, we pray for the family and we pray for everyone Amen. as well Amen. so Amen. the fortitude you you to bear the mm. loss absolutely thank Amen. you so much and well on that note we yeah, end we, the show for have, today yeah, we, we end the show right here and yeah. uh, uh, we, we pray for the repose of the soul of Yajubu. Yeah. Uh, as we end this morning this way. Have a great day and uh, stay safe wherever you are. Bye now.